Hello vlog! Dang, look at the sun! Oh wow! Good morning vlog! Happy Vlogmas Day 16! Look at the sun though. It's the sun for me. You guys! Uh, I made breakfast and it looks so pretty. This is what happens when really like finesse some shit. <laughs> I made some breakfast and it looks so good. We eating good in this in this household. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I'm about to edit this video and upload it. And then I'm gonna do my nails later on. Um, I know I usually don't have like these long intros for <laughs> when I do my nails, but we're switching things up. It's vlogmas, so it's a vlog still. I'm about to eat breakfast and be productive because I have a lot of shit to do actually. I'm about to put this honey on this though. Let me set you guys this. You can watch because this shit right here. This shit right here. So we did. Cinnamon raisin French toast, okay, with turkey bacon, scrambled eggs, and maple sausage topped with some assorted berries. <laughs> you guys, look at my feet! Ah! <laughs> They're peeling. I just got off the shower and I was like exfoliating them in the shower and I got out and look at all of this. Ah! Oh my god. But I like fully, well not in fully, but I got most of the dead skin off of this foot and this foot is mad sold. Like, there's still some, there's still some. But like for the most part, wow. Just wow. I'm very grossed out, but also in like impressed. <laughs> I'm equally as impressed as I am grossed out. <laughs> Because why is my foot peeling like this? This shit really... My DNA is all over this fucking bathroom. If I wanted to kill somebody in here, uh, I couldn't because my DNA is everywhere. They find me in two seconds. <laughs> Forensics. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to be here for like the next hour peeling my feet. Because now I need to see what they look like fully smooth. <laughs> guys i feel like i haven't checked in with you all day because i haven't because i was editing yesterday's video yeah i feel like i haven't spoken to you guys all day because i haven't i started taking off my nails and i really like i really messed up my nail on my pinky my pinky nail like i have no nail bed at the top corner like i was being impatient and I just started like biting and and like picking at them. Like I was going like this and I was popping them off with my teeth, which is not good at all. And I put my pinky like there's literally like the skin is raw and I was supposed to do my nails tonight. Like I don't know if you could see this, but there's no corner to my nail. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to do my nails, but now I'm like, I feel like I should wait till this heals before I put a new nail on the top because I don't want to like glue it and then no air can get to it and it's just like exposed but I just I've been editing all day it really was such a slow day oh my gosh I forgot that I was supposed to go to the post office today I have to go tomorrow but yeah I wanted to talk to you guys let me close the door I wanted to talk to you guys because I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway. I'm going to be doing... I said I was going to have two giveaway winners. Um, it's going to be like a Christmas giveaway. Not necessarily Christmas themed, but it's going to be a Christmas giveaway in that I'm gifting to someone, two people for Christmas. And it's just going to be a bunch of like makeup and things of that nature. Like makeup, beauty stuff, skincare, just a whole bunch of stuff. I have so much makeup and just so many things that I'm personally just not going to be able to use and I want to give it away so yeah um the plan is to go through all my makeup right now there's a little bug in here hmm. yeah I'm gonna need you to land so I can, so I can grab you up Mona be making fun of me that I'll kill a bug with my with my bare hands 
I would not kill like a big bug, but I would kill a little gnat like this in my hands. Like, and I would just wash my hands. Like, what? You know how many times I've clapped these little stupid ass gnats? So yeah, the plan is to go through all of the giveaway stuff that I want to give away. I'm going to section it out so that I have two really nice giveaway boxes and then i'll probably just let you guys know at the end of this video what the giveaway details will be in order to like you know little rules to the giveaway and then i'm gonna pick someone like i said that all it's like a gift some people for christmas like i just want to do something really cute for you guys because Vlogmas has really shown me that I have like a core like set of subscribers and followers that just tune in every single time that I post. I didn't see it as often when I was posting before because I was posting like once or twice a week. So it's like you kind of forget. But like with me posting every single day on YouTube, like I'm literally able to see like who comes back every single day, essentially. And the messages that are left and the comments and the things that you guys notice like it's just so cool and it's so cute so i'm gonna get back to you guys so yeah we're doing a fire ass christmas giveaway it's gonna be real cute why this a tara lions um scarf though like oh i got one of these and then i got a do-rag when i went to her store on melrose and i'm legit like obsessed with this thing it's so freaking cute and it goes with my little nude outfit so well these pants are from zara they're like little loungewear pants and then this little shirt is also from zara this ribbed halter neck yeah this is just what i've been in all day i've been in the same position on the couch just editing my video i'm so excited <laughs> So yeah, let's go do, let's go do what we need to do. Me. <laughs> you guys, I'm watching Billy on the Street. Billy on the Street! If you don't know what that is, you need to watch it because it's hilarious. I've just been, that's literally been the only thing that's been on my TV for the entire day. I think I've watched like every season that's on Netflix. I'm about to start going through this makeup that I have in these boxes from when I moved. Yeah, and then I have some like ipsy stuff too, but I know that there's a lot of stuff in here. I was just on Instagram, and Instagram be getting me, girl. Them little um, sponsored Facebook post ads, they showed me. You guys know how I'm in yesterday's vlogmas video, I literally said, I was showing you guys my array of alcohol, and I was like, there's this cute ass bar cart that I want. I didn't even Google the bar cart. I haven't searched it up on my computer, nothing. I saw it in person. And it's so funny how today I go on Instagram and my suggested posts and ads are for bar carts. More specifically, brass and gold bar carts. Like that's my, that's my whole color scheme. So I'm just like, what? Bar cart? what um cha anyway so like it's really giving the fbi agent in my phone really be paying attention like i don't know if it's a girl i don't know if it's a woman or a man but they really be paying attention to me they be making me feel heard because i talk about something and then the next day it's there's some kind of ad being shown to me. I'm really quite confused and a little scared. <laughs> Ooh, honey chat. Okay, yeah, so what can we give? We can give all of this, to be honest. I was supposed to try this foundation. I never, ever did. I just haven't been using liquid foundation. Yeah, I'm gonna let my show play. Let me just go through this makeup. And it's very ethnic. It's like Frida Kahlo. Have you ever heard of Frida Kahlo? I've heard of Frida Kahlo. She had the unibrow and there was a Selma Hayek thing. Well, she's fabulous and she's very well known and she was playing that. No one knows who that is. Yes, they do. She did. Nina Dunham doesn't know and I don't know. Yes, they do because I know people that do. Millions of people. People like it. 
HBO or something like Black that. Black Walnut. I don't have HBO. <laughs> I think you should look up. But like unused makeup. Well, some of it is my makeup. I'm gonna separate that, but a lot of it is brand new stuff. Oh, look, I just found this MAC lip gloss and sugar ring with this dazzle glass. Ooh, she's thick. Shut up. Congrats, Lena. Look at this beautiful diorama of Ricky Gervais. This is mine. Look what you could have My storage unit. That's right. I didn't win a blanket with like. It's giving Barbie. The blanket went to the I always do this when I go through my makeup. I always like try on my old stuff. This is just all like my old makeup. I got another lip gloss on top. Why not? Another one. If you get two questions wrong, you're out of the game. If you make it to the final subjective round, you win hundred dollars. Oh, this one smells weird. I think this one is bad. Three lip glosses Mary, on. Single, what's your deal? Uh, single. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you guys ever look at old makeup that you used to use and it like takes you back to a time, a certain time? I just looked at all this old makeup and like I would never, I don't think I would use this stuff anymore. Like, I'm gonna throw it out. This is all the. I used to have a vanity, okay? And I had like the IKEA Alex drawers or whatever, and I, it was filled with makeup and hair products and stuff, and that's what all this crap is. A lot of it is um unused. And this is from last year, so it's not like bad or anything. A lot of. A lot of it is unused and unopened, and then there's some of it that's used and opened, and that's my personal makeup. But I'm like, I don't even think I would use this stuff anymore. Like, I have a whole new routine now, and I just have new products that I use, and have a new method, and just a new way of applying my makeup. And I also like my makeup to look differently now. Like, I feel like the way I did my makeup a year ago versus now, like, my makeup has just gotten so much better. I don't know which one of the three glosses that I put on that I'm tasting, but it don't taste good. There's just a time and a place for certain kind of makeup. And... Yeah. Oh, I remember when I used to use this on, um... This ABH bronzer, <laughs> religiously. Ooh, look at how I hit pan on that. Mini Benefit Dandelion, what are these? Blushes, blushes, and highlighters. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Gold Rush, love that. Oh, my Patrick Star highlighter. These are all just throwbacks. There's so much MAC in here. This highlighter, this pink one, I remember I used to wear this. Ah, I used to wear the out of this highlighter and I sold it so much during holiday because I used to wear the shit out of this highlighter. And then there was a gold one. I got this one um, in gratis, but there was a gold one. And I remember I didn't get the gold one, I got the pink one. <laughs> so I would wear like my Fenty Trophy Wife or I'd wear like another really like strong yellow gold highlighter and i would just be like yeah this is the one that i'm wearing it was the same thing makeup is all the same it's just different brands like it's not makeup is not all the same but i know what products are like dupes for each other so it wasn't like i was sending you home with something you weren't gonna like but nine times out of ten my face was not mac and i told people i feel like that was like one of the few times where i was just like trying to sell that highlighter because I wanted to have like really high numbers or whatever but I always told people like they'd be like oh my god like what is on your face and I'd be like girl this is fancy like I would be whispering and I'd be like come over here drag my customer and be like this is not oh like this is not Mac and sometimes my manager would overhear me but they wouldn't say nothing because they knew like I'm gonna still sell you uh you know what, you wanna know what the real tea is? What really sold for me, my application. All I had to do, and my, and my more than one manager had said this. They were like, <laughs> they were like, uh, if Jasmine gets you in her chair, like you're gonna spend your money, like point blank period. Cause 
I may not be like really good at the selling points when, when I'm on the floor with you and I'm like, well, no, that's a lie too because I was good at that too. But anyway, you would come into the store, right? You may not really know what you're looking for. You may have an idea of something that you want, but you don't know what that product is specifically looks like unless you're coming in specifically asking for something but you may just want a certain look but you don't know how to achieve that look that's where i would come in and i just be like okay like i'm like do you have five minutes do you have 10 minutes if i really had like time on my hands i'd be like do you have some time like are you in a rush to go anywhere oh no like i don't have to be anywhere i have a lunch date at two and it'd be like one and i'd be like oh girl let's get you real cute for your lunch date i love i love doing this Ooh, i love asking women like do you have like do you are you gonna see anyone later like what time do you get off of work or is there someone in the office that you know you want to look cute for like whatever and then as soon as you say that, like their face lights up and they're like, oh yes, like as a matter of fact, I do have a date later or, or I am gonna be seeing someone, why? And I'd be like, girl, let me sit you down and let me just give you a little quick makeover. I love giving makeovers. Oh my God, like I loved it so much. That was my favorite part about working at Mac was just doing makeup. Like I didn't care about the selling. I didn't care about, numbers i didn't care about none of that stuff like ugh, the real <laughs> the real things that like matter like i just wanted to do makeup that's why i wanted to, that's the the main reason why i wanted to start working there is i wanted to learn how to do makeup and then once i got there and i got good at it and i was like really good at doing makeup i was like that's all that i wanted to do so i was a freelancer for mac for three years and i got to work in multiple locations so like my favorite locations when I, when i got there they knew like if that day we were swamped with makeovers the first person they were coming to was like jasmine <laughs> like they'd be like jasmine we have a 12 i i clock in for 12 i get there at 11 55 clock in they'd be like we have a 12 o'clock and a one o'clock and they both requested you or we have a 12 o'clock we want to give it to you the one o'clock it's coming she's gonna want to get you too and i'm like okay let me do these faces back to back then let me go to lunch then we come back and do two more faces let me take a 15 let me do one more face then we clean up <laughs> like i makeovers are just my favorite thing so yeah i'd be like girl who you finna see let's get you real cute i sit them down and it take me 10 minutes to be a face and it wasn't even girls like it was never even like full like instagram beat no these are your these are your working women your nine to fivers your mothers your wives your busy women your everyday woman you don't need all that makeup like they're drawn to to my face because you know my face is beat or whatever but i know like on a regular that's not how i'm doing my makeup if i got somewhere to be or if i just want to look cute i'm doing something light and sometimes i'll be at work in real light makeup i would really show up in like a super light beat and they my managers would be like you need to put on like a lift you need to put on some eyeshadow you don't have no like you don't have nothing on your eyes like what are we promoting right now like put something on or whatever so um but yeah i would sit them down you know ask them questions about their skin you know what are their skin concerns are you oily are you dry or combination do you feel like makeup isn't long wearing on you uh do you feel like it looks cakey or textured like ask my discovery questions figure out what's like their everyday look basically and i'd give them like something that was cute simple and soft glam but just like cute and simple like nothing crazy you know like it really would take me like sometimes I do it in five minutes like just give me five minutes of your time and they'd be like okay I'll take literally everything that you use and I would grab a prime I grab a moisturizer I grab a primer I do a little powder foundation a quick uh, full coverage but lightweight concealer under the eyes I do some bronzer I do blush mascara and a brow pencil that's eight products right there and they're taking every single one of them because they're all staples you need you need at least a primer and a moisturizer. Moisturizer, I mean like you could 
You could do that morning and night. You don't even have to do it on days where you make wear makeup. You could do no makeup days and you still need the moisturizer. Like the moisturizer is very important, especially if you're, you know, getting older, you're maturing, your skin is getting more dry as you get older. Moisturizer is a must, sis. You need the moisturizer. But primer, you need it because it's going to help your makeup stay on all day. So that's easy. And we could do the two in one. We could do Fix Plus. Or you can prep your skin with it and you can set your makeup with it at the end so it does both so we'll do a fix plus and just to take off one product you know powder foundation that's easy that sells itself studio fix powder that's right there in your bag you take with you when you're on your way to work you can put that shit on the train you can put it on in the bathroom powder foundation is one two three hello easy coverage lightweight simple you could do it with your eyes closed blindfolded <laughs> concealer of course i love a good concealer and i would just do like a do 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 and then blend it out cover up them bags the immediately the face brightens as soon as you put the concealer on and now you're good to go now i'm like okay the eyes is looking good the the skin is looking good you know let's do a little brow do a little brow pencil fill in your brow brush it up boom ready to go some mascara do two coats of mascara top and bottom now your face look real good and i'm like you know what for me i was just up a little bit with just a little bit of bronzer and some blush just because i like a little color back into the face you know we evened you out we gave you great skin your skin looks amazing but i just want to add some color back so i hit them with the bronzer bing bang boom hit them with the blush put on a lip whatever kind of lippy that i could see them some women you know they give you that that they would do a bold lip so i might give them a a ruby woo well ruby woo is kind of intense that's very matte but might give them a red but for me personally i'm gonna go with the nude i'm gonna do something like um blankety with some cork lip liner yash with some cork lip liner chestnut if, if, if it's my chocolate women my deeper girls and yeah that's what eight nine products and i did that every single time i sold so i had no issue with that but i was really there for the makeup like even those little 10 minute beats the person that sits in your chair when you first start and the person that leaves your chair when you leave it's like that feeling that transition of them seeing themselves and being like wow this is so easy and simple and i look so beautiful and they just feel good like that feeling it was that feeling for me so it always made it worth it um along with like even though there were so many other stresses with working retail <laughs> but yeah i was a mad girl i low-key miss it sometimes but then like i really don't especially holiday holidays I always worked holiday as a freelancer that was like when you were needed the most throughout the year so that was like my busiest like four months of the year like starting basically like right before our, um Halloween till the beginning of October all the way until January 1st like December 31st January 1st getting crazy hours making crazy money working it all the time getting that holiday pay or whatever and then i eventually transitioned from a freelancer to a permanent artist and i had a permanent location so i was not working at multiple locations anymore i was just working at my home location and i was an actual artist and i loved my experience it was like you know there was like things about it that were but for the most part i'm glad that i was able to experience both i'm glad that i was able to experience being a freelancer and then you know being a permanent artist because that was something i always wanted to do i always wanted to to be able to be like i freelance with a company and i was permanent because i felt like those were just two boxes that you wanted to check off as an artist with the brand it was like those are two things to be proud of you know so in a nutshell i'm a bad bitch period oh this tv is not too distracting i turned it down and i feel like my voice is pretty overpowering so let's put on another lip gloss this is another mac lip gloss i have so many mac lip glosses this is really four lip glosses shake my head okay so right now these are the two piles that i have a lot of the makeup is benefit there's some covergirl 
black opal, the lip bar. Um, I'm going to be adding more stuff. I'm going to be adding some more stuff to this um, probably in the next couple of days. I have some more PR packages that I want to open and add stuff to. And then I'm thinking about adding just some other stuff that I buy. Brushes in there. Like, it's going to be really, really cute. So, yeah. So, for the giveaway, the rules are going to be very simple. They are as follows. And I'm also gonna have them on the screen. You have to make sure you do all of these things because I will be checking I will be checking and verifying with you guys when, when I do settle on the two winners So you have to make sure that you do all of these things So one is gonna be to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications Two is to follow me on instagram and three is to comment something that you're manifesting for yourself for 2021 and your Instagram handle under this video. Not on my Instagram, not to my DMs, it has to be under this video, okay? You do all of those things, you are submitted for the giveaway, and all that is left is for me to choose a winner. I'm gonna be choosing the winner, what's today? Today's the 15th, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this giveaway until the 20th, which is a Sunday. The giveaway will end on the 20th, December 20th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's three, that's 2.59, 3 a.m. on the East Coast. And I'm gonna ship out their stuff to them on the 21st or the 22nd, most likely the 21st, just so that it can get to them. Hopefully it'll get to them by Christmas or like right after Christmas, so. Yeah, that's all of the giveaway rules. Um, I'm really excited about this. Yay! I love doing, I love giving back. So I'm excited. Ooh. If you guys are excited for the giveaway, then give this video a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join the fam. You might as well. We just hit 58K on YouTube. I'm so excited to hit 60K. I'm really looking forward to it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye.